Here's a very brief video tutorial about how to use Universal Controller Remapper or UCR plus VJoy to remap buttons from one controller onto a virtual controller the VJoy device. First thing you're going to want to do is download VJoy and this is what the site looks like. You go right here, download, and then you go here, right here where it says Windows 10. And then once you download and install that, it'll go pretty quickly. Go over to Auto Hotkey site for Clive Evil C, the developer. This is one great program, UCR, so is VJoy. Scroll down here, he's got the download link. It's impossible to miss. Download that, extract it to a folder, and then once you have VJoy operational, then you start up a Universal Controller Remapper, which I'll call UCR from now on. So doing that, now you want to map a button on a device to a button output on VJoy. Make sure your VJoy configuration is set up to have buttons. You can see this is set up for 32, 3 axis. You can have up to 8 or 128 buttons. You can have up to uh, 16 virtual VJoy devices. One or two is more than plenty. When you have UCR open, you're going to be looking at the screen, uh, the main interface, and you'll see here where it says plug-in selection. Hit the drop down and then you see right here it says remapper button to button remaps button type inputs to another uh, button type output. So basically buttons on one device being remapped and output through VJoy buttons. Select that, hit add, button to button one, you can change to whatever you want. Select an input button. So this is your input button and I have a Blue32 connected and then you see the VJoy device sitting here. So I'll select an input, input, I'll just say select binding, or select button I mean. So I press a button, there we go. So there you go, you can see how it's behaving. Select an output button, go to your VJoy stick, because there's only one on this, select number one, and then you go and you select your button. So I want to put that on button 16 on VJoy. So there you go, and then I'll select another button. And to do that, I'm going to have to add a second instance of this. There we go. Select binding. I'll push the other button. There we go. So you can see that they're working independently of each other. Sorry about that. And then uh, V joystick one. We'll select button. 15 in this case and once we go over here to the properties of the VJoy device I'll press the button on the blue 32 which you'll see over here with our testing and configuration program see I'm pushing on on it there and you can see button 16 corresponding to button 2, button 15 corresponding to button 1. So that's all good. Once you do that, make sure you hit the save settings, and now your configuration will be saved. So if you want to use VJoy as a button device instead of one of ours or somebody else's, you can do that. And that's it. Thanks for your time, and thanks for using DSD components.